This tutorial is going to talk us through the modularity and refactoring that is in section 3.4 of your textbook. It's going to talk about creating new methods. The process of refactoring is when we rewrite the code and it's going to do what we call increase cohesion and usability. This makes the code easier to read and it makes it easier to reuse code blocks. The idea of cohesion, this word cohesion, is that everything in one block does that one job and we don't have any extra code beyond that. So if it's highly cohesive, it basically is a block of code that does one job and does it very well. The text example that we're going to be introduced to or asks us to do is that we're going to introduce three new methods, look for worm, turn at edge, and random turn to replace the code in the act cycle. The current code in the act cycle looks like this. It has blocks of code inside the curly braces. This is an if decision. All of these are decisions and each of these blocks does a different job. But what we're going to do is to remove these blocks of code and create a very succinct act method. When we're done, our act method should look like this. It'll just be turn at edge, random turn, move, look for worm. The new act method is only going to contain the method calls. These are the method calls. The name of the method followed by the parens. If there's parameters, such as in move, we would also put in the parameters. This makes the code very easy to read. It's what we call self-documenting because it's evident what it does. And it doesn't need very many comments within the code because it's self-explanatory. That's what self-documenting means. We don't need many comments because it documents itself. A single comment above each method is still prudent to use and we will be asking you to do that as well. We are going to take a look at your green fit code that you have so far. You have in this chapter added the worm and then we added some code to check for the worm to see if it was touching in the class and if it was then the worm was um, eaten. So we've got a new class here, worm and we have the code here to check. If we just run this fairly quickly just to kind of see the action that's occurring, this is what your code should be doing right now. I'm going to pause. I'm going to click reset. Remember to save your characters in the world here. You can right click and save world. We're going to go back and take a look at that code. Remember if you want to or you it's recommended to add those line numbers under preferences so you can refer to your section and code. So I have done that. And if we start to take a look at this code, we've got the is at edge is are these first three lines of code here. And I'm going to refactor that. This might not be in the same order that your textbook has, but remember we're going to refactor it into three different methods. So we're going to check to see if the crab is at the edge. We're going to check to see if there's random movement or make random movement and then we're going to see if it's touching a worm. So the first one I'm going to tackle is we're going to do turn at edge. So the previous few lines of code here are going to be rewritten into a method called turn at edge. This is going to become what I call my method call. That's how the program knows to execute that piece of code. Our method is going to be written below. It's going to be public. It's void. The name of the method we're going to use camel casing on turn at edge. Remember camel casing is when you capitalize each word. There are no uh, parameters so just an empty parentheses. I always begin my code block and then immediately end my code block so I know that I don't forget those curly braces in my block. And then this is the easy part. I am going to copy which is a control C or right click. Actually, I'm going to cut that code. Cut is control X and I'm going to paste. Paste is control V. Notice how it doesn't line up like it's supposed to. So you can go to edit auto layout and it'll clean that up for you. And we have just refactored our code. We took this code block here. We removed it from the act method. We put it in its own method and then we are just going to execute that method by calling turn at edge. So this method call at line 19 is going to come down here. It's going to execute this code and then it's going to go right back where it started from. So the method call 
executes this code and then it returns where what we call transfer of control it returns that control back to the program at this point you will notice no difference in the functionality when we run this there isn't going to be any difference in the functionality the difference is in how the code looks so you can see that the code looks a lot cleaner turn it edge you don't see what's behind the scenes that's also that idea of what we call abstraction you don't necessarily need to see the code but you need to know that it turns at the edge this is a method that you have written versus move which is a method that somebody else has written for you so you've been using methods and method calls you just haven't been writing your own now we're going to create another method and that's going to be for random turn so the next thing that I want to do is random turn and then I'm going to take this section of code out I'm going to create a method down here the order doesn't matter I can put it in any order that I want but I'm going to do public void random turn parens beginning brace ending brace add a little space because all I'm going to do is copy this code cut it actually control X and down here control V I will let it auto reformat and so that it lines everything up a comment above these methods will be prudent but let me go ahead and refactor the last piece of code that we want and that's going to be to look for worm if I actually tried to compile this code right now it's not going to like this if you notice the message shows up and it says cannot find symbol method look for worm that's because I haven't written it yet so whenever you get that message cannot find symbol that means either the method is missing a variable is missing maybe it's a typo or misspelled I do notice that I want to capitalize my F here the other thing that you could do to speed up maybe writing the code is I'm going to go ahead and copy this section of code which is random turn I'm going to go ahead and paste it and I'm going to then cut my look for worm code control X I'm going to put that down in here now I still have a problem because I now I have two of them named random turn I'm going to rename this one look for worm so as you get used to working with the code you'll find different ways to kind of speed up the process of coding now we should give just a brief comment this method will turn writing this comment this method will make the crab turn when it is at the edge of the world and I went ahead and added in the other comments for the random turn and look for worm and rather than using this method it actually would be better for me to use the method name so something like random turn simulates random movement of the crab and because when we use the Java docs we could say uh, this one is going to be turn at edge will make the crab turn when at the edge of the world because if I go to the documentation for this and I scroll through the documentation for this particular class every those comments that I write in there well I didn't use Java docs so they're not going to show up let me go back just a second here notice this slash asterisk asterisk if I use that format for the comments it's going to create what's called a Java doc and it just created it for me what's nice about that is it's then going to show up in your documentation and it goes ahead and finishes it off for me etc but let me show you the documentation let me actually show you the difference here so watch for the random turn and the turn at edge when I go to the documentation if I scroll down and that comment that I wrote in here is echoed it doesn't do that for the last one because I didn't use the Java Docs so if you use the Java Docs formatting and you notice that it finishes it for you there when you use that then um, you are going to have the documentation for your code already completed I auto reformatted and cleaned up the code just a little bit so this becomes our new crab method you can see that the act cycle is now very short and it tells the story 
and it has the three method, four method calls, but the three that we wrote, and it calls each of these subsequent pieces below. That will wrap this video.